What's up guys and gals, Rus is Frogs here, and um, I'm just going to be talking about why I think um, John Cena is losing muscle gains. Um, just to start, um, I do not believe it really has that much to do with his age. Um, Ronnie Coleman, uh, Mike O'Hearn, there's been tons and tons of guys that have been able to keep most of their size and everything, like even into their 50s. Uh, mid 40s is still around the time, especially if they're juiced, like John Cena is. He's definitely on steroids, but um, if a guy's juiced, he usually can keep his size like pretty late into his life. I mean, I've literally seen old, like 60 and 70 year old men that when they take gear, they can still get, you know, a physique almost as good as John Cena's, I've even seen. So, but a lot of people have been asking what's going on. Um, to be honest, this is my best guess here, because he says that it's just because he's dropping weight. There's one problem with that. Looking at John here, and then looking at him here, Yes, he does have a little less body fat. I mean, you can especially tell in his love handles and shit. Um, but, um, is he, is, is a good amount of that muscle too? Yes. I mean, you can clearly see that his arm looks a lot thicker here, looks a lot more scrawny here, and, I don't feel like that just has to do with him losing fat. I feel like that's because look at his chest here too. I mean, he's he's definitely losing some of his gains. So his explanation of oh, it's just that I'm getting uh, dropping weight. You know, I don't I don't think that that's the only reason. I feel like it's possible that he's like hey. It, just to himself, he's probably like, hey, I'm 42 years old, um, I actually want to live until, you know, maybe into my 60s or 70s, I don't really want to die in the next 10 or 20 years, um, so maybe I should stop cycling now, that could be, very well be a thought that went through his head, and John Cena just being that he's always been maniac in the gym and everything, even getting off of uh, roids, um, taking a PCT, you know, he, he can still keep up a fairly impressive physique, which is like here. This is, this is almost like what I would assume John would look like if he was just natural, if he was just a natural um, that got that kept a pretty low body fat percentage and didn't have any extra muscle gains due to steroids. This is what I would imagine that he would look like. And then this is what I would imagine that he would look like if he did a cycle. So, yeah, so I hate to say it, but I, I honestly think that this isn't just due to a weight drop or anything. This is, um, due to roids. And another thing I want to bring up is look at his traps. Look how small his traps are. Traps have lots of androgen receptors in them, which uh, respond really well to roids and SARMs and, you know, basically anything legal. Look at him here. Look at him here, and then look at him here. I mean, they're almost non-existent now. And your trap has... As far as I know, your trap has a very low amount of fat on it. Like, that would be kind of a strange area to be carrying around a whole lot of fat. So, even with the weight drop, I wouldn't assume that his traps would just completely disappear like that. That's muscle loss right there. That's not just weight loss. That's muscle loss. But, you know, still... Still an impressive physique for 42, but, um, you know, it, I guess maybe it would have, because 
just his veins and stuff just are kind of disturbing looking, you know, that's why people have been, you know, wondering and kind of even worrying about him, like saying what's wrong with his arm, you know, I've seen people with uh, veins like this, like him, you know, so it doesn't shock me very much, but I do understand where people are coming from when they say it looks kind of nasty, so, you know, it's almost like it would have been nicer if John would have just gotten a good physique, because um, he has good genetics. It would have been nice if he just got a good physique and maybe did a cycle of roids or something to get into the WWE like he did and then just maintain a pretty good physique like this. And then maybe later in his life he would have been able to hop on cycle and not really have to worry about as much health problems. So he's probably just done so many cycles at this point that he's probably... You know, starting to become concerned because, you know, he is getting up there in age now and he's got to start looking out for his health. So that's just my opinion. I'm not saying 100% that he isn't still on roids. I can't say 100% that he's ever taken them because I don't think he's ever admitted to taking them. But, you know, just with the rampant amount of it that was going on in the WWE, you know, it's it's basically like... If you're an IFB pro, you know, if you're a built, a built guy that looks like you might be on steroids and you're in the WWE, then you probably are. You know, just like if you're an IFBB pro, you're probably on steroids. So, um, but yeah, just comment your thoughts below. Swiss Frogs, take it easy.